fine afternoon. So your roving reporter, Mike Passell, reporting from beautiful Hilton Head, South Carolina on the ocean with the winds howling. This reminds me of some of my enjoyable times in the past in your country in The Hague with the sea, roaring sea and the winds coming off the North Sea. So let's get into the, today's hand. A lot of the hands I'm used to doing are sort of boring, one no Trump statement responses. But as usual, John has come up with a very, very nice, enjoyable, higher level hand. I'm gonna make some slight change to it to take a look at this hand from a different angle than he has proposed. But I pick up this, what looks like an 11 point hand that I open a club. I'm actually 5'4", and I have Ace, King, Ace in my long suits. So his hand is much, evaluates much higher. And it gets better and better on the auction. It's my left hand opponent open, calls four spades. My partner bids four no trump, which by our agreement says that he has either a slam try in clubs, which I'd be overjoyed with, since I can't imagine with my hand that he could have anything less than like a singleton spade, king, queen of hearts, ace, king of diamonds, queen of clubs, which is only a 14 count. Uh, so that would be sort of a minimum slam try. So that hand fits really well with mine. So let's take a look at what my bids would mean. So I have several choices. So let's look at the mundane five clubs telling our partner that we really don't have a good hand. Uh, we're happy to play in five clubs and the partner must correct, he must. So with this hand, we don't have that either. So we have a very good hand for clubs, as we pointed out. We also have a great hand for hearts. So with this hand, I would suggest bidding five hearts, telling our partner we have slam interest if he has hearts, has the red suit, as a matter of fact, and we're willing to play in six clubs if he has clubs. So that bid seems to handle this very well. Now we're gonna to go to John's problem, which is more complicated because over four no Trump, the next devilish hand has bid five spades. So now let's take a look at our hand. Now for sure we know partner has at most one spade because the opponents are bidding at a high level, but not a lot of high cards. There must be a lot of shape involved. So what do our bids mean now? So obviously double would say, partner, I want to defend here. So probably a balanced hand. And I very likely even have some wasted spade values and I probably have some shortness in clubs. So we definitely don't have that. So we have five no Trump, which tells our partner that we have a good hand for clubs. We're willing for him to bid six clubs, which we obviously are. And we're willing to have him bid six hearts because we're sort of been forced into showing our hand. So we definitely have that. We, we, if we were a little stronger, we could even bid six hearts, telling our partner that we're willing to play seven clubs. And I don't think our hand's quite strong enough for that. So out of our possible bids, I think we're gonna bid five no trump over five spades, opening up the possibility of playing in either suit. So this is my this hand from every angle I could have. And the only thing I'd really like to add is I'm a little disappointed in John because he convinced me if I did a couple more of those that he was empowered by the Dutch government to grant me citizenship. And I just found out this week that he really wasn't. That he was pulling the wool over my eyes but his, hand, his hands are so enjoyable and I like this so much that I'm gonna overlook that and forgive him. And I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Signing off from Hilton Head, Mike Passell.